All right, we're talking about history unfolding. It certainly is happening that way, especially if a, a union president were to come out and endorse the Republican nominee. Now, union members have for years overwhelmingly sometimes voted for the Republican. It came that way in both of Ronald Reagan's elections and all the way up to uh, when his vice president, George Herbert Walker Bush, was running in 1988. That's essentially been the last time, though, there's been a rally around Republicans because, by and large, certainly when it comes to union bosses, they are very big Democrats. But Sean O'Brien of the Teamsters says he's well aware of the reality among his membership before he makes a decision. Take a look. We know for a fact 50% of our members are registered uh, Republicans. We know a lot right? of our members vote. We, yeah, we, we know a lot of our members vote based on a lot of social issues, whether it's guns um, or anything else. And, and what we try and do is get the focus on who is going to be the best choice uh, for workers. And oftentimes, you know, people, because of where they live and sometimes, you know, because of the great contracts they work under and, and, and the upper middle class lifestyle that, you know, we negotiate uh, for them, um, you know, they, they, they actually um, identify with Republicans. But our, our message has been clear is that we want to make sure we pick the best candidate for workers. You know, the social issues are important. We talk about them all the time. Uh, but the most important thing is picking the people, and not just in the presidential election, it's in every single election nice. that are going to, you know, basically work for us. And I, I tell people and I tell politicians all the time, I think you know, Neil, I call balls and strikes. We need to be the people we elect's conscience. We need to make certain they understand who they work for and how important we are. Um, if a majority of your members, it turns out, uh, do not want to support Kamala Harris, uh, would you then throw your support behind Donald Trump? We haven't got that data yet. It is very, very close so far. Okay. And that's a decision that we're going to consult with rank and file members and, more importantly, our general executive board. Would your being snubbed at the Democratic Convention weigh on you personally? I wasn't, I mean, I don't take it personally. You know, look, like I stated before, many, many, many uh, opportunities to speak about this. It's their loss. I mean, okay. you know, if they don't think that they need the Teamsters Union, it's not an attack on me. It's an insult to the 1.3 million members that they actually work for. Um, any meeting scheduled with Kamala Harris? So we, the, the Friday, conveniently the Friday before the Democratic Convention, uh, they reached out to our union, our folks, and said they'd be willing to meet. But as of today, we don't have a date. Okay. Um, and, you know, so maybe they don't need us. Maybe they think they don't need us. Maybe they don't want to come talk to us. But, you know, people have asked me the question over the last week, why don't you just endorse Kamala Harris? And I said, you know, it's simple. I don't hire someone and then give them an interview. This is their interview to tell us what value they're going to bring to us, what support they're going to give to our issues, and we need to hear it. Our rank and file members need to hear it. Our general executive board needs to hear it. Only Donald Trump has been granted that interview, and he with you. Well, no, that's not true. Donald Trump, RFK, and every single candidate prior to the primary. So no, but, but uh, the, everybody the accepted our invitation. Two big surviving ones right now, right? Yes, so far, yes, you're right, accurate. Okay. Uh, Joe Biden came as well. When Joe Biden was in the race, he came as well, President Biden. All right, uh, Joe Biden not in the race anymore. Again, it is unusual here, and a delay in an announcement like this sometimes happens after Labor Day, but most times well before the United Auto Workers already uh, embracing Kamala Harris only seconds after having done that same with uh, Joe Biden. So